all right guys before we get into the video there's one thing i wanted uh, to give you guys a big heads up on if you are serious about learning blender octane i mean serious this is not just on the fence i need people who are serious there is a community that i'm building right now it's kind of like in a beta mode i already have i sent out a massive invite to a lot of people who are on the email list and there are literally like university professors in there there are professionals there are you know beginners there's amateurs there's a whole mix of level of people using blender octane in this community now to get in this community you will have to answer a few questions and based on those based on your answers we will decide if you're going to be in or not because we want to keep this group very tight niche we want it we want people who are going to engage in this community this is not just your normal discord like server this is way more advanced we got courses inside here and i plan to put a whole bunch more stuff inside of here but enough of my jibber jabber check the link down below if there's something you might be interested in and let's get let's get to the Jeez, I need to shave. Sorry, guys. Let's get to the video. All right, guys. So we're going to install Quixel Mega Scans, Quixel Bridge, whatever you want to call it, into Blender Octane. So let's get straight into it. Now, first thing first, make sure you go ahead and make an account. Now, I made an account with Epic Games. So that was how I did this. I went to Epic Games, set up an account there, go through that whole process, get your account set up. And then go ahead and what we're going to do is sign in. Once you have a download, basically what we want to get to is there is going to be an area for plugins. And I think it was Quixel. And matter of fact, let me just go ahead and Google search or search it here. We'll go Quixel. Oh, Quixel plugins. Here it is. So once you go to the Quixel plugins, make sure you come in here and you download the proper plugin for Blender. So here it is Blender. Now, this is the thing. With Blender, I'm using again the Blender standalone. I'm not using the 4.0 Blender and then the plugin add on. I'm using Blender standalone, okay? And at the moment, Blender stand in is at 3.65 point something. It's not 3.7. So make sure you download the plugin, the 3.6. And matter of fact, let me double check that. Okay, so I'm using Blender 3.6 point five okay so make sure we down the the appropriate one okay guys this is important because they don't think we're, so 3.65 i'm using 3.6 i'm using the 3.6 plugin this is the one that i downloaded not the 3.7 okay once you have that downloaded go into blender go to your add-ons and i think it's going to be pop under mega scans or matter of fact no i didn't install it yet sorry let's install it right here 3.6 zip i'm going to go ahead and install that and then here it is mega scans plugin i'm going to tick that pop that open here it is i'm using version 3.52 and this is the scan or the, the plugin that i'm using go ahead and save that now once we have that done fire up bridge in the background here i'm going to go ahead and fire up bridge now i will give you for on my machine when i hit bridge it takes like a minute to load literally almost takes like 40 seconds to load it takes a minute before i kept pressing it and pressing it and then like one two three five of them popped up press it once and just wait okay so make sure you go into your quixel bridge make sure you go here and log in make sure you're all logged in and everything is okay right and then from here what i should be able to do theoretically is like the cinema 4d guys they just select it and boom it pops into their scene when I used to use this a long time ago, it never worked. It never will pop anything into my scene and I never had, it just never worked. Let's jump over to Blender. I have Pixel running in the background right there, you can see. And what I'm gonna do is come in here and my scene is all ready. I've got everything. And one thing I wanna do set up real quick here, Octane. If you guys know, I just installed GGX and it's absolutely fantastic so go ahead and watch that video i'll post it up somewhere and you guys can take a look at how to install ggx and it's uh, i love it i love it. it looks great so i'm gonna have that in here good so let's go back and find an asset to bring in so just for the sake of it i'm gonna go right here with these three bricks now i know that if i click this tick here it's going to allow me to download it so i just first go over here to my settings it's going to be 2k resolution that's good enough for me here default settings i'm just going to leave everything stock i'm not going to change anything right and i guess i can hit download here or i can hit download right here so let's just hit download now it says purchased again i'm using the free account i guess if you do uh, epic's game account unreal engine it's free i don't know but it's i have not paid any money i've not put any credit card information in okay boom it says download it now it's showing it in blue 
Next, we should be able to export this by hitting this plus button here or this plus button here. I'm going to hit it. Exporting to Blender. Uh, it says could not export asset. Please check your login. Okay, so that didn't work. But let me just go check the scene really fast just to see. Yeah, nothing's popped into my scene. Okay, so this, this is great. You might have the same issue. Um, let's say it says log in again. Okay, well, maybe let's go back to my login screen. Hang on. Let me go to my account settings. Let me quickly check the plugin. Make sure there was no type of signing into the plugin here. Nope. Plugin, there's no sign in on the plugin. Mega scan. Okay. I'm going to sign out of my Quixel account and sign back in. So I'm going to go ahead and sign back in. I'm going to go to sign in. I'm going to go again. I made an account with Epic Games. I'm going to sign into Epic Games. It does say, oh, well, it said email required, but I just click on Epic Games and completing Epic login. Okay. So I'm assumed I'm signed in. Let's scroll back down. Let's go back to bridge and actually in the bridge here. Maybe we need to tick here account settings. Well, I already went there, so I'm signed in. Okay. So let's try it again. Importing error. Please check, check ports. Check ports, ports, not ready. Okay. Let me just shut down everything and reboot. Shut down Quixel and shut down Blender. Reboot Bridge. That's the website. Let's reboot Bridge. I'm glad we're having these problems here so we can kind of figure out how to deal with these problems that you may encounter, right? Just troubleshooting it. Again, it takes a little bit of time to open. Like I pressed it, it's already been about 30 seconds and it's still not open. Boom, there it is. Okay. So it's open now. Minimize that. I'm going to go ahead and open Blender. All right, Blender is open. Let's jump in here. Let's see if we can import something here. There's those bricks again. We're gonna go ahead. Well, now there's a check. I guess that check means I've already downloaded the materials. That's what that I've heard. That means, see, this doesn't have a check. This does. So that means the materials are already on my hard drive. We just want the object. So let's go ahead and click on this again. Export into Blender. Ooh, export successful. Okay, let's jump back to Blender. And right between my guy's feet, there it is. So it worked guys. Okay. So make sure after you get everything signed in and everything logged in, shut everything down. I would just do a full system reboot, but hang on. Let's make sure the materials are right. Okay. There it is. There's our brick. Oh, there's actually multiple bricks because we did show, uh, I think we did download a pack of three, right? Let me go back here. Yeah. There are three bricks in this that it shows in the photo. So let's take one of these. Let's go G Z X move that off to the side. And there's another one G X. Move that off to the side. Okay, boom. There's our bricks. And let me just add a little bit of rotation here on this one. And just doing a little quick composition here. Take this brick here and just kind of stack it on top. Uh, let's go G and stack it on top. And the way I like to make sure things are stacked on top, click this, hit the snap tool, come here, go to face edge, and then go GZ. And boop, there it is. Now we know it's on there. Snaps to the face, right? Okay, so it's sitting on top of there. Good. And matter of fact, while we're at it, let's just go ahead and I'm going to go Alt D, slide this guy out about like right there. And then what I'm going to do is go G Z up. And I just want to kind of have him rotate on the Y a little bit like that. Let's go to front view, put a ground plane here. All right, sweet. And then what I quickly do here is just jump in here and control Alt O, get my camera here. Just quick little composition, guys. Why not? Right. I love playing in Blender and that's my thing just to play here. Just get something quickly set up, something like that. All right. And then what I'm going to do is grab this guy here. I'm actually going to delete that. I'm going to go shift a, and then I'm going to go to this plugin that I found that it's absolutely fantastic. Psych wall. I uh, like that. Let's go G Y kind of just bring it right there. Little guy. He can go home now. Thanks a lot. Jump into my camera. Boom. All right. Now let's go and see what this is going to look like here. I'm gonna fire up the render on this side and the materials are not there. Boo, 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 ciao. I actually know that they shouldn't be there because they're set up for cycles, right? They're not made for octane. So the way we fix that, let me quickly here, make a couple, a little bit of light settings here. Again, if you have not seen, check out this video here that I just set up my AGX, which is absolutely fantastic. It's something I'm really into, turn off my aces. And it's, it's, I'm getting some really cool looks from this thing here. So I'm going to actually turn that exposure up just a little bit there. Okay, good. Close that. Now let's get, let's fix our materials. So we jump over to our shader editor and here we have a bunch of cycles materials. They don't work. Now it took me a while to figure out how to get this to work properly. One thing we need to make sure of here, we need to make sure that our roughness is plugged into the specular and into the roughness. And this is our normal 
our normal map is plugged into admission. Why? I don't know, but we need it to be plugged into normal so Octane can rec recognize that. So what Octane is going to do is convert this. If you click on your material, scroll all the way down to your material tab, scroll all the way down here to converters and hit convert material and then hit OK. Now, bada bing, bada boom. There it is. Our materials have been converted. OK, now let's jump back over here and you can see everything works good. Everything is in their proper position. And matter of fact, let's see if there's a displacement for this. So what I typically do on that, if we click on this one that's plugged into our normal shift, duplicate this, drag it down. Then what we're going to do is pop out a displacement uh, texture displacement and plug that into here. Now, why we shift duplicate it, this should take us to the folder where our textures are already saved at. And let's look for an EXR. Oh, here's an EXR. This is our displacement. This is a 2K material. So I can go down to 2K and we jump back over to our blocks. Let's quickly, we should see, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the problem? Check it out. Hang on. Why is this shiny? Look at that. That's not right. Right. This was the one thing that just baffled me for hours. So if we look back here again, here is our universal material. Now, if I bring in a standard universal material by pressing shift A, if I go to materials, scroll down here to the bottom, it's the last one, universal material. Now, if I bring that right next to this one, there's something that's not right. Here's our albedo. Our albedo is correct, right? See, it's white. So we're plugged that in. That's right. Now, you immediately think, well, it's the roughness. The roughness map is off. No, it's correct. But what's not right is this. Coding is set to white. On the default, it's set to black. So if we jump back out, let me take this guy, delete him. If we take this coding here and slide it down to black, there it is. Okay. Make sure you take this coding and slide it down to black on any uh, everything that you convert because it's not going to look correct, right? Anytime it's being converted, for some reason, it's leaving this as white. I don't know why, but it is. Okay. So now we've got it. Now we want to add some displacement to it. We've got our displacement hooked up here and the volume is set to 0 0.001, which is very, very low. So I'm going to go to 0.01. All right, that brings in a little bit. I'm gonna exaggerate it. I'm gonna to go to one, okay? And now you can see our displacement is happening. One is a little bit too much. I'll probably go 0.01. It's kind of like a, a happy medium. And if you wanna tighten it up again, you can even take this up to four, right? And it's gonna really make it more a lot tighter as far as our displacement goes. Again, now we're really close. It's a 2K material. If you wanted to get really close up in detail, I would advise bringing down maybe like the 4K, the 4K material. Oh, wow. I didn't realize I had the camera on all this time and it's not sputtery and juttery. But anyways, I'm going to kill the camera because it helps the uh, stream a little bit here. All right. So that's looking nice, guys. That's looking really cool. And that's how we do that. Now, there is one thing that you do need to take to note. Um, I can't remember what step I did it. There will be a time where you're going to need to. I forgot when I, I think it was while I was installing. It asked me where I want to save the, te the textures when you download the textures. Make sure you have a folder, make sure you know where it's at. And then that's why it knows like these have a check. That means I've already downloaded these uh, textures. And then here it sees no check but because I don't have the textures downloaded. OK, so make sure you do that. So hang on the file up here. File import X uh, settings. Let's see up here. We got settings. Oh, boom. Here it is. So edit settings library path D quick. For me, it's on my D drive Quixel bridge. And I made the folder Quixel bridge and boom, it's going to download it into those folders. Okay. So there, that answers the question right there. And that's it guys. Have fun. These things are, it's absolutely awesome. Like I love it. It's fantastic. And again, check a look at the, uh, GGX video. If you guys want to, I mean, look at that lighting. It's absolutely gorgeous. So soft. And you know, if you don't like that soft look, you can easily crank it up to, um, to more punchy there is a there is a couple of little presets if i come in here press n and if i go to oci looks and i go to punchy boom it's something a little bit more contrasty so take a look at that video for the agx install hope you guys enjoy patrick lavar keep rendering remember blender octane this is the way peace